like to write our own music. Can I have a drink of water? Is that okay? Is that all right with everybody? <laughs> oh, hallelujah. We like to write our own music, but from time to time we hear songs that other people have written that really touch our heart. And I do a lot of ministry work, and I talk to a lot of people, and it seems like 
people called lately of the past year or two, and a lot of people are hurting in a lot of different ways. There's people who's hurting in their marriage. There's people who's hurting with their relationship with their children. There's people who's hurting financially. Maybe their house was taken away or they lost their car. What have you. People are going through really, really tough times. And I don't know how to explain it. I, I don't understand it, but I do know that the Scripture says in Isaiah chapter 40, verse 31, that they that wait upon our Heavenly Father, He shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Amen. And I believe that. I believe it with all of my heart. And so that's what this next song is all about. It's called I'll Wait For You.
y'all got to get ready. There is a train that is coming. You guys know what I'm talking about, don't you? But listen, before we sing this next song, I got I got to share something with you. I've seen a few people, not everybody. I've seen a few people, you know, kind of want to lift their hand up here or lift their hand up. It's all right to lift your hands, okay? That's okay. It's all right to do that. Yeah, come on. Yeah, it's okay. It's all right. It's all right. But there's ways that you go about it. There is ways that you have to do it. And so I want to go through with you some of the ways that we here at August Rain do the hand lifting, just in case you guys don't know. Uh, so the first one's real easy. first one's real easy. It's just called hold the TV. You just hold the TV. Hold your arms out. You move to the big screen. Go to the big screen. Just hold the TV, right? You come up from there. You, you got the dueling light bulbs. You just, just do the dueling light bulbs a little bit, right? Right, right? Throw in a little heartburn. Throw in a little heartburn. Either side. Either side will work. It's okay. Either way will work. Right? You got the goal post. That's the traditional. You know, the goal post. All right? Okay? You got the village people. Right? You the village people. Rocky. Touchdown, right? Some of the women like to wash the windows. Some of the women like to wash the windows. Both hands will work. Both hands will do. Right? Right? Come on. You know I'm talk talking about you. <laughs> That's okay. That's how you do a little hand lift. So if you want to do that, if you feel led to do that on this next song, because it talks about a train that's coming and you got to get ready. You feel ready to do that, all right? This song's called People Get Ready. To hear the keys so high there Well, you don't need no ticket You just thank the Lord Somebody thank you You don't need no ticket You just thank the Lord One more time say so You don't need no ticket You can just thank the Lord Just to change it right
We've got some good news. Pastor Allen mentioned it before. Really thankful for you, Pastor Allen, wherever you're at. I can't see hardly anybody out here, but I know you're there. I see shadows, ghosts, shadows in the midst there. So I know you're there. Uh, something that's really close to us right now is this next song we're going to play. Uh, because there's a special radio station named K-Love. Uh, you can Google them and Facebook them. And they picked up this song, and it's playing in all 50 states of the United States of America. How about that? Praise the Lord. <laughs> so it had actually hit number 42 on the Christian Billboard charts last week. So it was just amazing to me, and uh, it means the world to me, but what means the most is that uh, our Heavenly Father is... Uh, He's working through us, and we're shining the light in the life of Christ everywhere that we go, and to every person that we meet. And you know what? It doesn't matter where you go or who you meet, people are watching how you live. You know, anybody can speak a lot of words, you know, but it takes a true born-again believer to live a lifestyle that exemplifies our Lord and our Savior. And so uh, people are watching you. Even if you don't want them to be watching you, they're watching you. I had a woman one time, I was going through the the hardware store, man, and me and a great friend of mine, and I was sitting there talking to her about what I was going to buy, and she said, man, you sound just like Pastor Joel Osteen. You sound just like him. And I think that was the first or maybe second time I heard that. And I looked her right dead in the eye, and I said, this is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I can do what it says I can do. I boldly confess my mind is alert. My heart is ready. I'll never be the same. No, never, never, never. I'll never be the same. <laughs> Jesus' name. <laughs> she said, you want to be Pastor Joe, but you don't look like him. You sound like him. I had, a, I had a woman one time. You know, you're know, you always setting an example. I had a woman one time, elderly woman. She came up to me and just started rubbing my arm. Rubbing my arm. I told her, yes, ma'am, can I help you? She said, you look just like Jesus Christ. And I said, well, the next time you see him, tell him I said hello. <laughs> it doesn't matter where you're at. If you want to or not, people are watching your life. And we need to set a good example, right? There's so many bad examples being set in the world today. We've got to shine the life in the light of Christ. This song's called, Show Me Your Light, and I need you to help me out, okay? Here we go.